Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge 122 has been rolling out over the last couple of days. And Microsoft pushed this latest release out late on Friday in my region, which was the 23rd of February. So as always, um, to double check if you have the update, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. But because this update did roll out a day or two ago, I'm sure that most would have received this update by now. Now, after the update has been applied, the latest version and build is sitting on version 122.0.2365.52. Now, once again, with this um, latest release, Microsoft has pushed out an update to address various bugs and performance issues. So this is also a maintenance update. So if you have experienced any issues, just double check your browsers up to date. And then because the browser is based on the open source Chromium platform, it would have also received the 12 security fixes that rolled out to Google Chrome and the other Chromium-based web browsers throughout the course of last week. So this would be an important security update. And those security fixes addressed two high-risk vulnerabilities, which is your level just under critical. And those are common exploits in the Chromium-based web browsers. Uh, the first high-risk vulnerability was out-of-bounds memory access in Blink. And the second was use after free in Mojo and out of bounds, um, out of bounds memory access and use after free are common exploits that get addressed um, almost on a weekly basis uh, in the open source Chromium platform. Now, with the maintenance side of things out of the way and the security things, uh, the security side of things out of the way, just to let you know about a couple of changes and improvements that have taken place. Now, I have been posting on the sidebar button that replaces the Copilot button uh, in the sidebar. So if we head to our customer sidebar page and we click on Copilot, yeah, if we toggle off Show Copilot and we restart the browser, as I have been posting, you will see that it replaces that with the sidebar button, which lets you show and hide the sidebar. Now, a nice little change that Microsoft has made with this is once that show copilot button has been removed and the sidebar button is there if we head back to the customer sidebar page you will see that there's now an option to show sidebar button so we can actually now toggle off the sidebar button as well which even declutters the browser further so you've got rid of the copilot button and the sidebar button but just take note though that the only downside to this is that your sidebar will always be displayed unless obviously you toggle that on and then you can um, you can show and hide your sidebar. But I think this is a nice move. Um, I'm glad that Microsoft uh, rolled this out because it does just give you the option now to get rid of that visual clutter and just thin things out, so to speak, in that toolbar. And I think, as I would always say, this is a nice move in the right direction. So as mentioned, once you have... Let's just restart. Once you have disabled that Copilot button, if we just go back, so toggle off Show Copilot, restart your browser... And then what you need to do is head back to your customer sidebar page. That's part of the sidebar um, options. You toggle that off and there we go. The sidebar button has been removed. And I actually think that's a nice step in the right direction. Now, over and above that, and I'm just going to mention these. Um, if you are reading, um, using the PDF reader and viewer um, in the browser, they've rolled out two fixes for the PDF viewer where the first is, and I'm just going to mention these, they resolved an issue where PDF text fields and drop-down values were being rendered twice for specific files. That's been addressed. And the second fix is they resolved an issue where printing certain PDF files in landscape mode with a fit to printable area option resulted in incorrect printing. So I've always said that I do feel that the Edge PDF reader and viewer is one of the better browser PDF readers and good to see that Microsoft has rolled out a couple of fixes just to make things a lot more stable when it comes to uh, the PDF reader and viewer. Now, some of the feature updates that have also rolled out that are, um, according to the release notes, are that if, you are, if your browser is managed via admin policies, basically that would be mean if you are using Edge in a corporate or enterprise environment. If it is managed um, using admin policies, um, Microsoft say they are moving the managed site indicator, which is the briefcase icon. So that's basically Edge for Business. They've got that briefcase icon, as many of you would know, to decipher that it is Edge for Business. They're moving that briefcase icon into the lock icon in the address bar Omnibox, which will be uh, to the left-hand side. So that's just a small change. 
if your browser is managed via admin policies. And then if we head back to our settings, and this time we head to our privacy search and services page, they've deprecated the image enhancement feature. And as far as I know, this was a change that Microsoft made a good couple of months ago. But um, it was in this uh, area, it was this, in this area on the services page for the privacy search and services section in the settings. And they've, they say that the deprecation of the image enhancement feature. So to improve end user experience, the image enhancement feature is deprecated. So it's no longer found in the browser. And this is official now. I was under the impression that this was done a couple of months ago because I even posted on that. But nonetheless, it is official now. And I think that's due to privacy reasons. Uh, there were a couple of privacy concerns with the image enhancement feature and that has now been removed with this update to version 122. And then another new feature um, is the web capture has been replaced by the new screenshot and this is kind of an enhanced screenshot feature and this has been in preview as I've been posting and it's now finally made its way into stable. So you won't get, you won't get the web capture feature anymore, you'll get the screenshot tool and as far as I know, that's also here in the main menu. So if you click on that, you can capture area or capture full page. And just to demonstrate, there we go. And you can also mark up capture. So as an example, whatever you've captured, you can just fiddle around, draw on that and so on. You can erase that and you can save that uh, to your local drive, copy and so on. So um, web capture has now been replaced with, with the screenshot tool. And over and above that, that's more or less what's new. We've got a couple of new policies which will more be of benefit to admins. There's an obsolete policy and there's an additional policy change. So as mentioned, this update rolled out um, late on Friday in my region on the 23rd of February. So that's more or less what's new in Microsoft Edge version 122, which is now the latest release. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.